Hey, it's Annie. Today I'm going to, this is the beginning of, not a series, but I'm going to break it down and really explain how I apply my eyebrows, how to make your eyes look big, and how to even out your lips. So if you have small lips, um, I'm going to show you how to or if you have uneven lips like I do, I'm gonna show you how to apply lip liner and lipstick to even them out or to make them look bigger, okay? So today, so it's gonna be three videos. You're gonna see me wear the same shirt. I film this all in one day. So today, we're gonna to start with the eyebrows. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, I know my hair looks a little crazy, pulled back, but we are gonna get into this. So today, we're gonna work on the brows, all right? So, am I even, I'm gonna scooch in a little bit closer here, all right? Because I want you to really see it. But let's talk a little bit first. So you can see that you really can barely see my eyebrows. Eyebrows are so important if you wanna frame your face, okay? You don't wanna go really heavy handed. You don't wanna to use too dark of a color. You don't wanna make really big eyebrows, um, especially when you're a mature woman because it's just going to age you all right you want it to look as natural as possible so i always maintain my own eyebrows um, sometimes when i'm putting it on because some of my hair is so light i'll see it as i'm shaping them and i'll tweeze a little bit more i think i cleaned them up pretty good today but what you want to do is you want to you want to give your eyebrows a shape and a lift okay so for me, mine look kind of like rounded and what I try to do is I'll take this brush. This is just like a, you know, like a two-sided brush where it's kind of like a little bristly brush and then it's metal right there for your lashes. So I'll just take this and I'll just kind of shape it a little bit, okay? So you can kind of see what I like to do is I like to create a slight arch here, which I have, but I kind of, um, emphasize it a little bit more and you'll see as I start shaping my brows okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go right outside there I'm gonna do little short strokes like hair strokes okay and I'm gonna be using where is it at? I know it's right in front of my face it is I'm gonna be using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills brow whiz okay i love this i know you know if you like a drugstore option you can use that too this is just what i prefer i really really love this um no matter what you use if you use something like this that you don't have to sharpen i would recommend that you have a backup i was on vacation i didn't have a backup ran out of it and then i had to get a color that didn't even match so that's another thing is make sure that you're getting a color that complements you in your hair color and similar to your hair color this isn't this is really close to mine and you'll see as i'm doing it okay um when i was on vacation and my hair was redder i actually got auburn and it was way too red for me like this color is caramel and it works much better for my hair it sounds like it'd be too dark but actually works really really well with my hair color okay and my brows and this has a double ended so it has the little you know, pencil on one side and the double and it's spoolie, which I want to wipe this off a little bit. And I do that sometimes even as I'm doing it just to make sure it's nice and clean. Because after I do the little hair strokes in there, I want to blend it out. That's another thing you don't want to do. You don't want to have like a definite line around your eyes. You want it to look really soft and as natural as possible. Okay. So let me get started. And as I am doing this, I'm going to explain what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to start right here. And I am going to start making little hair strokes going up like this, okay? So you want to bring this part, when you start, you want to go up here. And then as you go, you start bringing it along like that, all right? So I do the top and then the bottom. So I'm going to start right here in the corner. And I'm going to start going up. Then I'm going to start slowly just doing little strokes just like that. Okay. And get right here. So this is like the top part of my arch right here, okay? Once I get there, I want to start going down. Just like that. All right? 
and my hairline ends about right there. Now I'm going to go underneath. I'm just going to comb it up a little bit. I'm going to go underneath right here and I'm following my hairline. I'm not pressing down really hard and I'm doing really short hair like strokes, okay? I'm going to get up to right there where my arch is and then I'm going to start going down. Just like that, all right? And I'm going to start to fill it in a little bit. And I'm going the direction that I want it, my brow to go. That's the way that I am um, applying my brow pencil color. Okay. So I'm going to go up right here. So now I need to take my double-ended spoolie there and I'm just going to bring this right here up. Now some some of you may have hairs that grow the way I don't. I kind of fight against it. So I, I bring it up a little bit, but it's going to push down. We're going to put a gel on it before, you know, once I get it all set the way I want it, okay? So I just go in and you just kind of blend that all in. Even on the edges, I even get on the edges and just make sure that it's blended really, really good. You want to see it, but you just want it to look as natural as possible. You don't want somebody standing close to you looking at you and just seeing the whole outline of your brow, okay? You just want it to look as soft and natural as possible. All right, I need to take a closer look because I want to make sure that mine's blended. I can't see from far away. So I'm going to go a little bit further out here because I can see my hairline. I'm going to go right here. And I'm going up. And then I'm going to kind of connect it. Doing it really soft. Like I said, you don't want to be really, you don't want to do really harsh lines, okay? And just blend it, blend it, blend it. Take your time. Now I see a couple, remember I said that sometimes I see some hairs. I'm gonna get a couple of hairs. Sometimes I don't notice that it, it's out of place until I start shaping my brows and then I will get in there and I will get them out. Okay. See a couple more. Can you see that? And you can already see. Look at the difference between my two eyebrows. This is nice and arch. Just pull my eye up and this just makes that eye look more hooded. Okay, so besides do applying your eyeshadow properly, it's really important to do your eyebrow. Okay, so that's a nice clean, nice clean arch and look. I'm going to get this just a tiny bit right there. But just remember, that just do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to go to this one and then I'm going to apply the gel. So again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to just kind of brush this up a little bit. Okay, and you can see the difference too. Can you see how this color really matches my eyebrow color? That's what you want to do. So you don't want to get anything that's too dark, all right? And so I'm going to go straight up here, right in the corner. And then I'm going to start working my way over. So I'm just going like slightly, ever so slightly above my own brow here line, okay? And so I get to the top here. And now I'm going to start bringing it down here. Because that's the way that my, that's the way that my brow is shaped. And that's, 
that's how it you know that's how it grows out and I'm going underneath here and just making little strokes little strokes and I'm going in and upwards see how I'm going with the way that my brow is shaped and then I get right here and then I'm going to start going down and then I kind of meet those together okay one thing you have to remember too your brows are not going to look exactly like this one is not going to look exactly like that one just the way it is nobody's brows match perfectly all right so don't get stressed out if it's not exactly the same i mean you don't want it to be a too crazy of a sh you know what i mean like you don't want it to be too crazy of a difference but um your brows are not going to look exactly the same i'm just going back and filling it in and i need to wipe this brush off a little bit and I need to look a little closer as well. Oops, see, I see some hairs. I swear, when I start shaping my brows, that's when I start seeing more straight, straight hairs. It's weird. It's like I don't see them until I shape it. And it's like, oh my gosh, where'd you come from? Okay. Let's get under here a little bit. See the little strokes that I just want to do little hair strokes. And then here I'm just going to brush it up. I see some. Here I want to fill that in. to look at my eyebrows from far away too so I kind of look at them far away and up close to see see this side always lays better than that side it's kind of like it's kind of like the top of your head it's like your hair you know there's always one side that lays better than the other but like I said you're not going to get they're not going to totally match you just want to get them as close as possible. I'm looking to make sure that they're even, as even as possible. Okay, so that's that. Now to keep them from, you know, keep them in place, I use a gel. The one that I like is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a clear gel. It's kind of like, I mean, I would not suggest it, but it's like when you put use hair gel. I don't think it's the same gel, so I wouldn't recommend doing that, but that's pretty much what it's like. It's like putting a hair gel on and keeping your hair in place. That's what this is for. So it's clear and I just brush it up. So I want this part right here to go up a little bit. And then I apply the rest of it and it keeps your brows in place. That's why I like it. They do the other side. And it really does keep my brows in place. Which is nice because you spend all that time doing your brows, you want them to stay in place, you know? So 
So that is it. That's how I shape my brows. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that this video was helpful and informative. Please let me know if you have any questions below on this video, if there's anything that you want me to share, if there's something you're struggling with, with with your makeup routine or whatever, let me know in the comments. I would love to help you. So make sure you give this video a, a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and make sure you click that bell because anytime I have a new video, you'll be notified. You could also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will leave the links below. I'll leave the links below with everything I use and all of my makeup. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.